Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're trying to reset your Apple ID password and you see the message, this Apple ID is either not valid or not supported, it can be confusing and frustrating. In this video, I'll explain why this happens and how you can fix it step by step so you can regain access to your account without panic. First, let's understand what this error actually means. This message usually appears when Apple ID does not recognize the account details you entered. In many cases, the Apple ID may be typed incorrectly, linked to a different region, temporarily restricted, or created using an email address that Apple no longer supports. Sometimes the issue isn't with your account at all, but with Apple servers or a temporary verification failure, the first thing you should do is carefully recheck your Apple ID. Make sure the email address is spelled correctly and matches exactly the one you used when creating the account. Even a small typo can cause this error. If you're unsure, try signing in on another Apple service or device where your Apple ID might already be logged in to confirm the correct email. Next, try resetting your password using Apple's official recovery website instead of your iPhone settings. Open a browser and go to Apple's account recovery page, enter your Apple ID, and follow the on-screen instructions. This method often works when the built-in reset option fails, especially if the account needs additional verification. If you recently created this Apple ID, the error may occur because the account hasn't fully activated yet. In this case, wait a few hours and try again. Also, check your email inbox, including spam or junk folders, for any verification or security messages from Apple that require action. Another important fix is to check your region and network. Make sure your device date, time, and region are set correctly and avoid using VPNs or proxy networks while resetting your password. Apple may block verification attempts if the location appears unusual or inconsistent. If none of these steps work, the safest solution is to contact Apple support directly. They can verify your identity and tell you whether the Apple ID is restricted, disabled, or no longer supported. This is especially important if the account is old or hasn't been used for a long time. So this error doesn't always mean your Apple ID is gone forever. Most of the time, it's caused by incorrect details, temporary restrictions, or verification issues. By double-checking your information, using the official recovery website, and contacting Apple support if needed, you can usually resolve the problem and reset your password successfully. Thanks for watching, and if this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more easy fixes like this.